go fishing. Actually, this weather right here reminds me of uh, Corpus Christi in the winter. It's like a real pleasant 72 degrees there the whole winter. But let's go, uh, let's go fishing today, guys. Don't sit here. See? Don't sit here. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's go down these steps right here. Nope, better make it these. No, we've been coming to the beach six years. We don't just come here on a holiday. We just, we've been coming here all the time. Middle of the week, weekend, off season, high season, doesn't matter. When you, when you leave for these kind of deeper reasons, I would think that you're more apt to make a more solid decision. And I think that when people leave for other reasons, like the kind of reasons that people are enticed into leaving for, like, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the major uh, retirement magazines, the ones that make it sound all glowing, and you know, you're gonna have the people at your beck and call waiting on your hand and foot you know, on a thousand bucks a month, live on the beach, you know, everything's rosy and beautiful, and you're in uh, paradise, eventually they're going to see through that, and then they end up leaving. A lot of people end up leaving because they came for the wrong reason. Oh, these are my rose-colored glasses. They're on right now, but they're coming off. I understand they got a pet whale out there where they just, when they pull up with the boat, the pet whale comes out for the are you serious? food treats that you throw to the whale for the tourists. Oh. <laughs> they were enticed into coming for the wrong reasons. And then after they're through with the honeymoon phase and uh, you know, like you look at us, I mean, you know, we brought our family. Retiring abroad, they don't understand, they don't think it through, or they're just looking at one thing, you know, one aspect of it. Uh, and, but a lot of people realize later that they miss their family and they don't really want to be, you know, out here alone and stuff. Everything's yeah, so different, everybody's so different, everybody's, everybody, people are different, everything's different. So. staying in Ecuador. Well, we're firmly planted, but we also realize that we don't know the future. We, we can't know the future, you know. So we're, we got our whole family here. We got our sons here. And, you know, when people have their family, they're more apt to be more per permanent move. So...
one response is, is to move. You know, if your surroundings become inhospitable, you can move. But when you move, this is what our blog's about, it's not all roses. And there's a lot of people who want you to think it's all roses because they have vested interests, they have things they want to sell you. And that's standard procedure in the world. And that's what we like to do. We like to expose the truth and let people understand what they're really getting into because one of the things is that that you get into when you move abroad is that you really, it's almost like you're looking through a looking glass and all you're seeing is what you're being told. You don't really know, see until you get there. I'm taking my rose-colored glasses off.